Right, it's chilly evening in Canop Chase. Another after work ride. Yeah, weather has definitely turned, so change of clothing. So yeah. Long long trousers. Um yeah, another layer on top. Uh today just doing some practice runs really, nothing out of ordinary. I'm gonna try and do practice some drops and uh go and hit the step up and track to trace again i guess so watch the space and let's crack on with it how big is it so the small one is probably a foot and a half big one just over two feet back to the center that's a brilliant spot for for practicing the drops oh that's better that's that's it just need to go back to the center right the reason i'm doing this because i've again educated myself on youtube and i'm most of the time pushing the bars on drops which apparently is the wrong thing to do because you're not as naturally going back to the center of the bike although the motion is almost the same i do agree that you feel like you stretched so this way you're supposed to naturally return to the center which that's what i'm trying to see if that's actually true yes it's definitely true yeah, when you're pushing, I'll, I'll do a push now. I don't, it won't be visible on the video, obviously, but it's just the, just for the mental note and how does it actually feel. But I, I already see that it feels different. So I'll do the normal push now. Yeah, yeah, it does feel different, definitely. So, why am i doing this i'm just prepping really for that tree drop on the step up trail because the only reason i'm not doing it because i think this is a prime example where you should use the correct dropping technique technique sorry and i don't think i have it so i'm just gonna practice here yeah too much even now I was at the back of the bike but that's definitely that's definitely what you should do is I, I think I'm not returning to the center quick enough obviously on this size of the drop it doesn't matter but when you start hitting bigger stuff I guess it's a case of yeah over the bars or not yeah that was so much better yeah it's such a subtle move but it does make a difference you're definitely landing two wheels first i'll try the big one bigger now now it's a slightly bigger it should be all right i'm hoping so i i'm i just wasn't very comfortable at drops at all yeah this is the bigger but yeah it does help a lot to think of it like you moving you're shifting your weight back rather than pushing the bars forward funny because the net result should be the same but somehow isn't oh too much too too early yeah but when you land really fast the impact is quite high it's just committing that's all it is and trying to go at the pace yeah but I guess I should land front wheel first and then quickly followed by a uh, back wheel. Yeah, it's a brilliant place for drops. Small, 
but still you can learn the basic technique yeah nice that gives me so much more confidence to go and approach that drop on the step up trail definitely right i'm gonna have a pause i'm gonna do an experiment and set up a tripod today because i haven't done it yet i can set it up there with a tree tripod set give it another go we'll see start with the small one back wheel first room for improvement let's try and nail the the small one first and then do the bigger one ah uh, that's probably it again i'm not trying to win drops competition but it will help not to crash like a, in a big way yeah that actually might have been better just try trying the big one now yeah i think i've stayed too far back my goal is to land this so i've got control before whatever next is coming i think i'm gonna go and do that drop today because it's the same size as this and not even with the worst that I haven't cocked it up so yeah that felt so much smoother the small ones I'm pushing the bars which is technically incorrect but I still gonna say that on the small ones is the way to do it all you're literally doing is squashing everything and making sure that the front wheel just touches the ground as soon as possible and that's how you avoid bad landings I think on smaller drops yeah I think I'm ready for it I think I am wow N now for comparison I'm gonna jump it and see what the difference is in harshness of landing oh yeah you hear that it's like yeah obviously the size is not big enough to cause any issues but yeah there's definitely different i just heard it the contact was a lot heavier was up in the air a lot more so yeah this actually cracking exercise yeah definitely less time in the air landing quicker which is important because you can prepare for next stand, jump, whatever it may be it's a lot of practice today already but I want to hit the trail before it gets dark again yeah yeah I do recommend this channel they are they are not as commercial as some of the main ones not mentioning any names I don't know if I found it easy to follow and uh, just practice what they've sort of teach and uh, they, they drop video it's effectively that just don't push the bars try and lean backward with a bit of a kneel before which is that is what I'm trying to perfect now oh that was probably too much again enough talking yeah i don't think i fancy the step up jump today because i cased it badly on the group right so i'm gonna do a couple of those small jumps obviously in drops then avoid the first drop because it's narrow uh, avoid the step up jump do the gap jump do a run up to a to the tree drop and then come back and do it right so here we are Wish me luck. Always in the same thing here. Send it.
Oh, what in the run. So avoid this today. I'm gonna avoid this today. Still have a bad taste in my mouth after the last case. Doing a gap jump. Nice. And a bit of a line. Right, one run up. Yeah, it, it might be even smaller than the other one. I'm still shit scared. I'll be fine. I'm not gonna lie. Once I've done it, I'll be probably fine, but I'm shaking. Right, let's do this. Yay! Yeah, boy! That's easy. This is what it is. It's just a battle with your mind. <laughs> 